Seven minutes until touchdown, everything in great shape. We passed, we just passed 350 mark. Do you copy us? Can you see us? Can you, do you copy us? We open the guns there. Do you copy us? We do not copy you. We do not copy you, ground. At the landing site, uh, the temperatures are in the mid-60s Fahrenheit. Better visibility than had been expected. Winds out of the northwest at about 15 miles an hour. 2,900, we just passed, we just hit the 2,900 mark. We passed it. Everything's nominal. How copy? Any ground support team? Do you copy us? Did you copy? All right, we just passed the altitude mark of 2,900. The altitude, current altitude is 2,500. Less than five minutes before landing, Gennady Padalka continuing uh, to report back to the search and recovery forces. Uh, the uh, instrumentation on board uh, suggesting uh, their altitude towards touchdown as the Soyuz descends under its main parachute for an on-time and what apparently will be a bullseye landing to the southeast of the town of Jezkazgan. Can you give us your altitude? It's 2,300. And sounds good, guys. And yeah, we're going to give you the control altitude. And then after that, how copy? When we need it. All right, so what's your altitude? We just uh, passed 2,000, and we, ha we are at 1,900. How are you feeling, guys? Good. Feel good. Do you, do you feel how heavy it actually feels on the ground? Or you haven't been long long enough to feel it? No, we'll feel a little bit. We just passed we just passed eighteen hundred mark. How copy us? Fifteen hundred. We are approaching fifteen hundred. Launched uh, atop a Soyuz booster on March 28th to carry the one-year crew members Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko to the International Space Station. Gennady Padalka, who rode uphill in the Soyuz TMA-16M, now just uh, two and a half minutes away from ending his fifth mission into space and 168 days in space, along with uh, Andreas Mogensen of the European Space Agency, and Aydin Aimbatov of the Kazakh Space Agency, 
who are wrapping up 10 days in space, eight days aboard the International Space Station. The TMA-16M descending toward its landing site under uh, a fully reefed main parachute in grid shape. We see 1,000, about 1,050. Copy. We have 1,020, a little bit more precise. That's it, guys. You can relax now. Don't be all scrunched up. Just relax. And they're going to tell us the altitude. Before long, we should see uh, the horizon come into view on the ground. Extraordinary video, courtesy of the Russian Federal Space Agency and the Search and Recovery Forces at the landing site in south central Kazakhstan. 700 meters. So, and you see 700 on your side too? That's right, Bobby. We just passed the 500 meter mark. We are at 400 meter mark. That's what we see on our side. The um, Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, on scene in a racetrack pattern around the landing zone as we stand by for touchdown. 350 meters. How many? Something. Did, did you say 200? Uh, 200. And there you see touchdown, the soft landing engines uh, firing uh, right on schedule. Touchdown uh, confirmed at 7.51 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time. 7.51 and 36 seconds p.m. Central Time, 6.51 and 36 seconds a.m. Kazakhstan time on Saturday morning. The mission at an end for Gennady Padalka at 168 days bringing home with him the two short-duration crew members, Andreas Mogensen and Aydin Einbetov, having completed 10 days in space, eight days aboard the International Space Station. Gennady Padalka, 879 days in space on his five flights, and on the front board of the Russian Mission Control Center, the Russian words, Yest Posatka, the Russian words for they've landed.